All right, so we have our messages working, at least the system notification messages, uh, flash type messages, messages that are there basically really quickly and they go away almost just as quickly. Uh, so now what we want to do is actually talk about that marketing messages that we talked about before, which was the one that was at the very top. And how are we going to actually handle this one specifically? So the alert top message. Uh, of course, right now we have it as display being none. So if we go back in here and we have this showing up, how do we actually run this message in a way that will display it? Um, and then when they close it out, um, it, it like remembers that it clo it's closed out. And then on the other side, um, maybe even changing how this message is or what it looks like based on maybe it's the request or what page they're on or all types of things. So, or the date, like if we change the date and we want a different marketing message up here, um, those types of things that we will have to actually start to monitor. So what I'm gonna do is create a new app and I'm just gonna call it marketing. So it's gonna be an app called marketing, just like a lot of this other stuff. Uh, it's gonna work a little bit different than some of the apps that we've seen before, but um, at the very least, we are gonna start to actually develop that top marketing message, and then maybe some other marketing type things that we might want down the line as well. Uh, that's where this app is gonna control. So I'm gonna do Python manage.py start app marketing. And now we've got this marketing app in here. That's good, that's what we wanna see. Uh, we're gonna go into our models and we're gonna call this top notification message. We'll call it class marketing message. So it's models.model. So it's gonna be a marketing message, right? And we don't particularly need a user on here, like a user model to actually own this, uh, unless you wanted to track which staff member created this marketing message. You could create that foreign key relationship like we, we've seen before, um, like in orders, right? There's this foreign key for a user right here. Um, that is something that you would see potentially in the marketing message, uh, but we also might not. So I'm just gonna leave it out actually. And I'm gonna do message equals to uh, models.char field max length being, let's say about 120. And I'm not gonna allow it to be blank, spell length correctly. Um, and then we might wanna say active. So whether or not it's an active one, models equals to Boolean field default equals to, let's say false. Uh, then we want a timestamp. So when it's actually was created. So date, time, field, uh, auto now add equals to true, auto now equals to false. Um, perhaps if we updated it, so I'm just gonna do updated and then turn this to false and true. And then we could even add start date and end date. So start date and these, both of these would be false. And we could also say null equals to true and blank equals to true on these. Uh, Cause you might not wanna have a start and end date. So start date end date All right so uh, this would be like if we wanted to test our marketing message during a certain time um, and then also active being you know whether or not that marketing message is actually active we also might want to have another one of featured and the default again would probably be false um, so active and featured are slightly different active means that it like can actually be used like it will actually show up at some point. Featured might be, you know, this is the main message. This is the one we're featuring. This is the one we're showing uh, right now. Uh, you could also even add like order, like being an integer field. Um, and put a default of zero or something. You could add an order. So like every request kind of goes through that ordering maybe. Um, or you could just kind of change how, how you want it to actually display. So if it's, if you have three of them that are featured and you want to go through an order of some kind based on their request, you might put an ordering in here. I'm actually not going to do that just because it doesn't really ho hold a lot of value for us right now. If you had a ton of marketing messages here, I don't know if you would want to use 
this bar all the time for your marketing messages, right? Like you might only want to use it sparingly. Um, so the message itself is here. And then perhaps we want to have a link of some kind or something else in there, uh, which is something else we could have. But for now, I'm just going to leave it as message because I will eventually introduce a package that allows this message to be HTML ready. So you could actually type in HTML there and it would show the HTML content here. All right, so now that we've got this marketing message, um, we are pretty much set to actually show this message. And we also might wanna think about, well, um, kind of how the user is going to interact with this later because if they close this out in theory they should be able to just remove it for good right it shouldn't come up on every request because if I go to a different page and I close that other one out um, it shouldn't show up right I don't have the server running but it shouldn't show up every time but that's going to be completely different than than how this marketing message is actually being shown right that's something that's a whole other side now you could build it into this model but we would probably want to have a whole nother app that would actually control that. We're not going to uh, worry about that yet. That would be more of some sort of analytics app. Um, we're not going to worry about that yet. We'll just worry about actually displaying the message and changing based on the date and all that. So now we'll just define our Unicode, Unicode data. And we're going to return self dot, let's say active. Uh, you, or we could do message, let's do self.message, and then we'll just do up to like, I don't know, 12 characters. Um, all right, so now that if we return this string of self.message, I'm just going to make sure it's a string for sure. It should be, but just to make sure, because if you type 123, this uh, might run, it, or like by itself, it might run an error. All right, so now that we've got this Unicode, let's actually add this marketing into our settings. So into settings. We're going to add marketing. Uh, and now that I'm here, I'm actually going to reorder everything because it should you should kind of keep it in order so it's just a little bit easier to read. I am going to leave south above everything, though, because uh, we don't need south below these things. I like to see if south is active. So the ones that you really need, you want to keep like up here or even possibly at the very top depending on how everything works okay so anyways we've got south accounts marketing now we just need to sync the database so python manage.py sync db and then python manage.py convert to south marketing oops let's spell it right all right great so now we have the marketing in there I'm gonna run the server real quick. And then I'm also inside of marketing, I'm gonna add it into the admin. So marketing message is the model name from dot models, import marketing message, admin dot site dot register marketing message. We're not gonna customize the um, admin quite, actually, you know what? We will probably customize it soon. So I'm just gonna add it in as a way to customize it by adding the admin model class. So model admin and then class meta model equals to marketing message. So how it is here means that we can't really customize what's displayed um, in the model or the admin, I should say. And then if we add it in with model admin or the message admin um, or the admin itself of model admin. This allows us to actually customize what's being displayed and we'll be able to do that here. That's all I did. Um, all right, so now that we've got the server running, let's actually go ahead and check out our marketing message. I'm gonna log in and we see marketing messages. Very good, if I add one, I'll say hello there. All right, we'll say active and featured. I'll save that. Okay, so now we have active and featured. So we have this message that's actually working. Uh, what I'm gonna do is actually just go to our dashboard. So um, on our dashboard, we're, we're gonna actually put in where we're gonna show this message just for now. Uh, eventually we'll change it on how it's actually gonna be displayed, but I wanna show it on our dashboard. So I actually forgot where our dashboard was. So let's go into URLs and we see, oh, okay, it's in products views home. So if we go to products views, we got home right here. So now I want to add in that marketing message. 
So I'm going to import it up here, uh, right above the relative import. I'm going to go from um, marketing models import marketing message. Uh, I still had a copy, that's why I was able to pa paste it in. If you don't, you can just go ahead and you know grab that. And then um, I'm just going to say, oops, on home, we'll say marketing or m message so marketing message equals to marketing message dot objects dot all and i'll just get the first one uh, so this we will change later but for now i just want to kind of show this in here so i will call this marketing message just so we know and then in our context we need to add this into our context variables so so the template can actually read it and now in our base template i'm going to change our old marketing message right here to our new one. So marketing message, and then I'm also gonna add an if clause, so if marketing message, and then end if. So it's actually gonna wonder whether or not it's actually there, and if it is there, it'll show it. All right, so let's go back, and we'll go back to our homepage, do a refresh, we see hello there still. Um, so let's actually see something different so in our marketing messages this is the marketing message a href equals to uh, let's say hello all right so now I added in some HTML text there so I hit save and let's go home Ah, we've got some stuff missing. So let's go back into our marketing message and just type out safe. Do a refresh. It looks like our admin didn't necessarily save it. So let's go back into our admin. Marketing messages. This is the. Now notice that it's actually cutting off part of the marketing message. Well, why is that? Well, that's because we're doing just marketing message. So this is actually pulling through the Unicode. It's not pulling the message, so we would just change it by pressing dot message and now safe. Refresh in here. Now it's actually showing hello. Of course, hello is not a real page, uh, but it is showing the marketing message here, which is pretty cool. Uh, so now we can actually change the marketing message. And the other nice thing is if we go to a different page, it's not going to actually show up. It's only going to show up on that home page right now. So if this is all you really wanted to do is have it show up on the home page every single time, uh, you could do that with that. So like every time they go back, it's going to say that marketing message. And if they go to the next page, then it won't, um, which is OK. It's not terrible, but we might want to have this on every page, not just in the home page. So if we wanted it on every page, then this takes a whole nother. Well, the long way and the bad way to do it would be to literally put this on every single page. Another way to do it is by introducing this new concept called middleware. So Django has what's called middleware, and it basically means it's in between the request that's made by the user and what the server sends back, right? So here's the built-in middleware classes. So every time when we don't have a CSRF token, you know how we have to create those, there's a middleware that checks to make sure that there is a CRF token. If there's not, then it runs an error. That's what this does. And that allows us to you know, prevent bad things from happening to our site um, on the server side. So the middleware actually prevent, is, is it's this middleman between clicking on something. So it's like, um, so I, if I can click on cart, let's say for instance, I don't click on it yet, but if I click on cart, basically what it does is it clicks and then it sends a request to the server. The server actually goes to the middleware first and then it goes to the view that's related to it. Right, so it actually happens prior to the view. So it goes to, um, let's take a look at this. So it goes to our, our Django project, checks the middleware, and then from the middleware, it's gonna check the URLs, and then it's gonna, from the URLs, it's gonna go to the actual view. So that's kind of how middleware works, and that's actually what we're gonna use to further our marketing message. All right, so if you have any questions so far, let me know. Otherwise, let's keep going.